do it. Rise and shine. Oh, you crazy. What time is it? It's half past noon, sweetie. What? Are you kidding? Oh, God. Oh, I feel like hell. You look pretty bad, too. Thanks. <laughs> what we got to drink? Coffee. Oh. Uh, but since you asked so nicely, I'll put some brandy in it for you. Aspirin. Oh, we're out again. Mm. Where were we last night, anyway? Well, you don't remember. Well, if I remembered, I wouldn't be. Oh. Uh -oh. I, I thought it might come back uh, to you. Did I? You did. And did they? They did. Fired me? Yeah, like you stole something. But they'll take me back, though, won't they? Look, if I, if I go down there, I talk nice to Bobby, he'll understand. I didn't throw anything, did I? <laughs> Drink your coffee before you get yourself all worked up. Do you think they'll take me back? Really, I mean? Truth or solace? Truth. Not a chance. Oh, God, what the hell am I going to do the now? We'll work it out. What? I mean, they done killed half the nightlife in Harlem, and no one's going to hire me downtown after what I said to Nick. Well, you can always come to Paris with me. Yeah, sure I can. Now, I'm serious. I know you are, but you being serious doesn't pay the rent. Which? Brings us to my last little piece of good news. I can hardly wait. Uh, I went to your place. This morning? I figured Nick's a Catholic. He should be in church on Sunday morning. With his wife. So that would be a good opportunity for me to go to your place and get your stuff with the minimum of confusion. What kind of confusion? I don't think the details are particularly important, except to say that the doorman let me go up for a fast five minutes to get what I convinced him were irreplaceable and exotic medicines, which you had to have or die an immediate and agonizing death, which would be on his conscience forever, especially if you expired on the Sabbath. <laughs> I got what I could. This is it? I only have five minutes, sweetie. He told me I can stay there as long as I want. Think of it as your place. That's what he told me. Well, think of it as your old place. And welcome to your new one. Well, I can't stay here. What? You know what happened the last time we tried that? Like, we stopped speaking to each other for a month. Okay. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Well, it'd be just like old times, tripping over your stuff on the way to the toilet. Um, you know, worrying about you wearing all my good clothes. You're over here half the time anyway. What difference does it make? God. L listen, even in your current sorry state, you are better off than half the Negroes in Harlem. You got a place to stay. I'm not going to let you starve to death. We'll figure it out. I should be figuring things out for myself. Man, shoulda, coulda, woulda. My head hurts too bad to argue. Have I, have I ever let you down? You know you haven't. I'm asking, I'm asking you, have I ever let you down? <laughs> no, you have never let me down. Do you think I'm about to start now? <laughs> no, I do not think you're about to start now. <laughs> then pull yourself together. <laughs> Stop worrying. Stop. Look, Big Daddy is going to keep everything fine and mellow. <laughs> Just like always. <laughs> but I'm so broke. Just, I owe everybody. Just like always. <laughs> okay. Look, 